The Summer Wave update has just gone live for Animal Crossing New Horizons, and it brings swimming to Animal Crossing New Horizons. You can swim in the ocean, dude. Not the rivers, just the ocean. However, in order to swim, you actually need a swimming costume. To get a swimming costume, the best way to do it is to head over to Residential Services, to the Nook Shopping ATM machine there, where you go to Nook Shopping, search under Special Goods. If you go towards the bottom of the list of items there, you'll see there is a wetsuit. This is different every single day, so you'll have to kind of keep trying to buy one every single day until you find one that really suits your taste. And after you've bought one, you'll actually have to do a daytime skip, kind of skip to tomorrow because you'll only have it delivered to your mailbox the following day. So I would suggest buying the wetsuit, save your game, close the game, change the date to the following day. So change it to like Saturday, the, the 5th of July, for example. And then go back into the game, speak to your mailbox, get the wetsuit that you just bought and unwrap it and you can put it on. The nice thing about it is that it actually goes over your clothes, so you don't actually have to change all your like clothing items just so you can put the, the costume on. It just kind of like replaces most of the stuff there, and you can take it off without having to like swap around all your clothes and get everything like back to normal. Even for custom design, it's actually pretty cool. Like your custom design will not be overridden when you take the costume off. Like it will just be like as if you never put the costume on. It's fantastic. But always take your socks and your shoes off before you swim because you, you'll look really weird if you're swimming in the ocean with a pair of high tops. <laughs> <laughs> it's super weird. Now talking about swimming, there are five different ways that you can get into the ocean. The first one is your obvious one, run on the beach sand and basically crawl into the ocean. It looks kind of weird, but that's pretty much how you would obviously just get into the ocean the first time you try it. The second way is you can actually jump off one of the rocks in your island, just somewhere where it's like not directly on sand, but is like next to the ocean. You can kind of just stand there, press A, and you will jump into the water. The third way is actually off of a cliff platform right next to the ocean. You can actually jump off of that into the water, even though there, there's like a like even if there's like a gap, like a one gap space from the from the cliff and the water. The fourth place you can jump into the water from is actually a second cliff platform. You can jump from a second cliff. That's two cliffs high. That's quite high up. You can actually jump from the second cliff into the water. There's actually a gap between like the first cliff and the second cliff and the like water. It's kind of like you're jumping at an angle like you can just see on the video. The fifth and the most dangerous method to get into the water is actually from your airport. Now why you, why you think that is dangerous? Because you're jumping over the railing? No, 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 no. It's when you're doing multiplayer trades and you want people to not leave from your airport area and then they just jump over the railing and they go like explore your island and, and do some bad stuff, I guess. I don't know. This is like something that's going to bother a lot of people that they don't have that security like holding people in place anymore that allows people to basically just jump off and do whatever they want on your island without you ever knowing it like, you know, unless you're keeping track of them. So it's something that you should just be aware of that it is possible to now avoid being trapped in the airport area. And in the ocean itself, you can actually find bubbles that you can go and press one as you swim next to them using a to actually like like swim faster because you swim really slow in this game jeez and once you get to a bubble you press y you'll basically swim under the water and you can chase down the little black shadow to catch different kinds of things like fish like shell creatures and just weird odd, odd jellyfish and basically things you can take to the museum i guess and yeah, that's all I have to say today in today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this helped you in getting your costume and giving you an understanding of how you can swim in the ocean in different ways. And I'll see you guys in a future video. Thank you for watching.